Have you ever wondered what would happen if you mix Mythbusters with The Walking Dead? We are Zombie Go Boom! Filmmakers and zombie survival enthusiasts. Using our scientifically accurate zombie heads, we put retail weapons, homemade weapons, and everyday objects to the test in order to see what will save you during the zombie apocalypse. Survive, protect, and kick undead ass. What's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind blowing episode of Zombie Go Boom. Today is our 2016 Christmas episode. You might be wondering, why so early, Chuck? Well, the reason why is because we got that Christmas tree for exactly zero dollars. We're gonna be testing it three ways. One, just as you'd expect, Charles freaking bear grabbing this Christmas tree and hitting Mr. Tim over here. Two, shaving it off and using this as a spear. And three, using the bottom part of the tree as a club. Let's get started. Alright, well that didn't do Jack Frost. Why didn't it do anything? Oh uh, well, basically there's no mass at the end. You see, I'm basically holding this tree with one hand. It's really lightweight. Uh, and plus the branches kind of slows down the force behind it, so it's a really soft hit. Yeah, and, and not only does it slow it down as far as like the wind resistance is concerned, but this little guy is going to hit first, and then right. this guy, and then this guy, so it's like, yep. by the time... It's a very cushy blow. Yeah. It's like it's hitting like... someone with a pokey pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Which would hurt, it but if would. you're a zombie, I mean, you don't care. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that didn't work, so we're going to chop all these branches off and uh, try to use it like a spear. Don't cut your off. You mean don't cut my hand off? It's like shucking corn. Yeah, these K-Bar War Swords are awesome. Well, I've got some experience doing this too. I did this for like 10 months out in the woods. Anything? Yeah, it went in. All right, let's see how much went in. That's about two, two and a half inches. We got a little bit of blood here. Let's see if we got into the cranial cavity. Ooh, jaw is broken. This part of the jaw right here, it's completely snapped off. And nope, it did not get far enough in to go into the cranial cavity. Not a kill. Though you may have disabled the zombie's jaw, which is his main weapon, so good for you. Either way, that was like the third or fourth stabbing. Uh, third or fourth stab, yeah. So, still really surprising. I didn't expect it to do that. Yeah. Your best bet's probably bludgeoning, right? Let's try it out. All right. Or anything, so. Lacerated and scraped skin, maybe a concussion, but that's just not gonna do it. Time to go crazy! Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. Wah! A 
A Christmas tree did that! A Christmas tree did that! A Christmas tree killed a zombie! Obviously you have to modify it. It's a modified Christmas tree. But, we managed to get it to work. And it did a pretty, pretty damn good job. I mean this zombie, that's not dead. I don't know what is. Or undead. Un undead is exactly. Re-undead? Re-undead. De-animated. Dead. You saw it here. All right, some things to keep in mind about this particular weapon. It's really lightweight, so I didn't get tired at all while swinging, but I did notice that the sharper end over here snagged my jacket a little bit. It didn't catch my skin or scratch me or anything, so I'm not a zombie. But uh, that's just something to be aware of. If you want to use it as a spear, I'd say just keep it as a spear. But if you want to use it as a club, just chop the spear side off and just use it as a club so that you're not endangering yourself. Well, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video almost a year early. See you guys next time.